So this video is to show the difference between negative and positive feedback by using two magnets. So the inside is one polarity and the other side is the opposite polarity. And I've got two of these, they're exactly the same. Um, <coughs> when I bring this magnet close enough to the opposite magnet, this is just glass by the way, it's not actually sliding over rocks, it's very flat. So if I bring the two similar polarities of the magnets together, then I get a repulsive force, right? And opposites attract, like terms repel, all right? Number one rule in nature. When I bring these two together, they they repel. And when I bring it first, you'll, you're going to notice that this magnet actually moves a bit, but the repulsive forces between them, it's not strong enough to to surpass the frictional forces that are holding the magnet in place. When I bring this close enough, you see it wobble, you see it shake, but it's just not strong enough to push it, right? It's just not strong enough to push it over the edge. If I bring closer, it jumps. Now, as it jumps away, the, the distance increases. And as the distance increases between the two magnets, the force becomes weaker. So what we have there is a negative feedback loop. You push it, it goes away, and if I can basically keep pushing this forever, but it's going to move in jumps. It's going to keep jumping. Even if, my move, if I, even if I move my hand in a constant velocity, that second magnet is going to continue jumping. That's a negative feedback. And a positive feedback loop occurs when I flip the magnet over. So now I have opposite polarity. If I bring my opposite, uh, opposite polarity close enough, then you get something called an attractive force, right? You can see the second magnet on the ground. You can see that moving. If I bring it close enough, you see it moving, but it's just not strong enough, usually, at a certain distance. It's not strong enough to make a move, uh, to surpass that frictional force holding this in place. Now, this is an example of a positive feedback loop. So when I bring it close enough, I can't, I can't actually move it away quick enough. I can't do anything. To, to, to move this first magnet away quick enough because it enters this positive feedback loop. Nothing I can do. Once the attraction begin once the attraction is strong enough to move this second magnet uh, to that passes if if the if the attractive forces are strong enough so that the friction isn't holding this on the ground anymore, it, it enters this positive feedback loop where it gets close, and when it gets closer, the attractive forces increase, and it gets closer again, and it increases again exponentially. So it, it gets closer and closer to the first magnet ever so quickly, exponentially faster. And I actually don't have the reflexes. I'm actually not quick enough to move it fast enough, right? It's, it's just, it enters this little positive feedback loop. The closer it gets, the more it wants to actually be attracted because of the forces. And nothing I can do. So the best thing I can do is stick them together and play with them. That's interesting. Might actually be able to roll it out on the screen.